Hey, this is Mark Joseph, president of Spartan Training Gear. I'm here today with Spartan's design engineer, Martin Ferla, and my friends, Marise and Maud. Uh, today, I'm going to take you through a short tutorial walkthrough video on our Spartan Training Armor 2.0. Um, I get asked all the time at conferences, by email, by phone, what modifications, what improvements we made to the second generation of the suit versus the original Hoplite Armor, which came out in December of 2010. Um, there's been a lot of uh, uh, constructional improvements and a lot of aesthetic changes to the suit. Um, there's been a complete redesign to the helmet, and new ballistic closures on the vest, uh, new form, compression sleeves, new low, low profile shorts. Um, so today I'm going to take you through all the pieces, kind of explain and highlight everything so as a client you'll understand kind of what you're getting when you purchase the suit. Alright, so we're going to start with the Spartan shin and knee guard. Um, the feedback that we got from our clients on the original version of this component was excellent, so we didn't want to go reinvent the wheel. Um, there's been some minor constructional changes to the component, but essentially it's the same. Um, always uh, uh, protection for the top of the foot, plastic trauma plating to protect the top of the foot during kicks. Um, excellent padding and trauma plating along the shin. Um, detachable knee, so if you want to isolate shin kicks, uh, it's very easy to detach the knee. All you're going to do is peel off the Velcro, the three Velcro pieces, detach the knee, close them back up and you're good to go. Alright, we're going to do the Spartan Training Armor Shorts. Uh, the shorts were one of the components that underwent the biggest modifications from the original version of the Hoplite Training Armor. Um, one of the biggest things we did was we removed the plastic trauma plating along the ribs, we separated the padding into different quadrants for better mobility, and we added some groin protection which was in big demand with our clients. Um, one of the things you'll see is, uh, like I mentioned, we removed the plastic trauma plating that was protecting the floating ribs. Why? Uh, because what we did was we lengthened the rib protection that was with the chest guard, which I'll highlight a little bit later. Uh, but what it did was, it allowed us to have a more seamless marriage between the chest guard and the shorts. Also, with no plastic trauma plating above the waist, um, it allowed for functionality with the um, duty belt from a law enforcement standpoint. Um, so now what you've got is you've got just an elastic finish at the top of the, vet, of the shorts with uh, a Velcro closure, uh, added groin protection which runs from the top, it's removable. Um, obviously, if you're isolating groin strikes uh, in a Krav Maga setting, for example, uh, we do recommend that you add a cup. Alright, everybody's geared up. We're going to tell you about the Spartan Training Armor Vest. Um, the Spartan Training Armor Vest is essentially the crowning jewel of the suit, and it underwent some of the most significant changes from our original uh, Hoplite Training Armor Vest. Uh, one of the biggest things that we did, one of the most common feedbacks that we had, was that guys found that the elastic closures on the side of the vest um, made it difficult to take the gear off at the end of a training session. Um, the point of this gear is to make your, your training sections more functional, more optimal. So we looked into that and came out with a new ballistic closure on the vest. Um, both versions of the vest have this. The tra Spartan training armor as well as the Goddess training armor have both versions of this closure. Um, we call it a ballistic closure. My thing is going to demonstrate how to take the suit off and on. So you'll see that the original version of the suit had elastic closures on the side. So at the end of the training session, you kind of had to reach back, peel them open, and then get out of your gear. Now, everything more like a ballistic vest, everything closes to the front. Velcro closures, little handle to hold it down, push it back down, aesthetically the gear is done. Like I said, the Goddess Training Armor has the same closure on it, so the functionality is there for both of the suits. Um, while we have both of them here, we're going to isolate some of the uh, modifications, some of the differences of the Goddess Training Armor. Um, the Goddess Chain Armor obviously is a much more tapered uh, vest. Uh, you know, obviously, women don't have the same upper body as a man does, so we had to take all that into consideration. Uh, much more tapered, a little bit smaller on the bottom. Uh, the trauma plating at the top is curved, so when there's impact here, the uh, bust area is protected, so the trauma, the plating comes here and the top as opposed to crushing in, um, which would happen if a woman was wearing a typical men's chest guard, which is just flat. <laughs> 